Donna Emery from Glover Nursery in West Jordan, Utah. How do you propagate a butterfly bush? Well, actually, butterfly bushes come quite well from seed, so you don't usually have to worry too much about it. They'll self-sow in your yard. But if you have a particular one that you really want to preserve this color or this form, you can propagate them by cuttings. I have filled a very clean pot with seedling and cutting mix, which is a sterile mix. I want to use clean tools when I'm doing this process. So I'm going out preferably in late summer and cutting off some shoots. I want to make sure that there are at least two sets of leaves that will be under the soil and I'm going to clip them rather than tear them off because I don't want to damage these leaf nodes. I'm going to shorten this stem to just below the, that pair of nodes. Clip out the flower bud if there is one. You can even trim off the leaves a little bit. Using rooting hormone, I'm going to dip this in. It doesn't need a lot, just a little bit clinging to those nodes and plunge it into this bucket of soil and firm the soil around it. Take another one. You could put five or six of these in this pot and it would be fine. They don't crowd each other. Clip out that flower, trim those off. Whoops, that one's got a little bit left. A little bit of rooting hormone into a pre-dug hole and tamp the soil around it. Next, I'm gonna take my watering can and thoroughly water this to settle the soil around those little cuttings. I want to make a mini greenhouse for them. So I've got a stick here. I'm just gonna put the stick in the middle to be my tent pole. And cover it with a pretty sturdy, clear plastic bag. They need light. I can tuck it under to secure it, or I can secure it with rocks if I'm leaving these outside. Put it in a cool, shady place outdoors, or a fairly sunny place indoors, and watch them carefully. In a few weeks, you can take the cover off and gently tug on them. If you have lots of resistance, that means they're ready to be planted. Just divide them, plant them in individual pots, or set them directly into the garden and water them. This is Donna Emery from Glover Nursery. Thanks.